Hello everyone and welcome to an exploration about whether we can have cities in Kerbal Space Program. This is Kerbal Space Program 1 here. Uh, I know Kerbal Space Program 2 is coming up, but I have long uh, thought about adding cities to Kerbal Space Program. In fact, I uh, did a little test run with non-textured buildings that worked, and now I have textured buildings and I want to see if it's possible. This is Substance Painter and the textures I've used here are uh, substance share textures so they were uh, free textures available on substance share um, so we have little grass textures dry grass textures and all and obviously building textures now the trick here is that you can see I've repeated textures and the reason for that is we don't want this to be very onerous on systems and right now the texture size for all of this is about 50 megabytes and the model itself is uh, perhaps Mm, seven megabytes uh, so it comes out to be about 60 megabytes total uh, and that is hopefully reasonable and of course if we want to make more cities out of this but use the same textures we could uh, just uh, do a different model and the model might be you know five to ten megabytes or for a small town maybe just one megabyte and then we can just use the same textures and we'll save the texture space so we could have many different cities uh, and fit all in 100 megabytes or so. So that's the idea. Or if we want more variation because we're using so many textures, I could add more textures to it. But the question is whether this is going to work in Kerbal Space Program, right? Uh, so we have a nice little city here. I originally intended this for, uh, to be a procedurally generated thing, but I actually took the time to place everything. Uh, so obviously I copied like stuff uh, to make it easier on myself, but uh, there is some variations. There are no trees. You'll note there are no trees. And I, uh, yeah, I'll think about that. But no trees, no water, no lots of things. I'm trying to keep it simple here for my sake. But yes, so you might hear Kerbal Space Program in the background. And let's turn to it now. So we're here at the runway at Tampico with my Tampico landscape scenery that I've shown off before. And of course, we have our Tampico launch site off to the side there. And we are going to go to Tampico City, which I placed. You can sort of see the buildings in the background there, and we will fly to it. But um, I've flown, I've tried it out already, and there is a flaw, and I'll show you what the flaw is. And but here we go. We are taking off in the T-38. Part of my plane's back. Okay, off we go. I have dreams of making all sorts of scenery with this terrain. Of course, it's looking very flat right now, but uh, we could add fields over here. We could do all sorts of things, but only if this works. I mean, 60 megabytes is not much. And like I said, we could increase the number of textures for the city so that there's more building diversification of textures. And then we could, you know, bump it up a little bit but as you'll see it doesn't look too bad in here this city is obviously not meant to simulate Tampico and as you saw in substance painter it has a green base to it but I've clipped that green base into this terrain to sort of blend it in the model is actually scaled to one tenth scale and then in curl constructs you could scale it up to uh, 10 times so that it's the correct scale. I've actually scaled up to 20 times just to give it more presence, if you will. So it's actually double the size of actual buildings. So you can see, uh, I mean, especially in this light, it doesn't, I'm gonna stay away from it because uh, what's been happening is that when I get close to it, everything disappears. <laughs> so going to try and stay away from it and then we'll fly over it and see if it still happens. If it does, I have no idea what to do about that. Oh, no, it all disappeared. Great aerial defense and everything. And it'll, it'll come back after a little while, potentially. But uh, we'll, we'll go off, off to... Uh, off over to Gulf of Mexico and see if we can... Bring it, convince it to come back but now it's all part of the same group in Kerbal Constructs and I have found that if it's part of a different group 
the terrain will disappear, the Tampico terrain will disappear, but the city will come, uh, will stay there. Now, the city does not have colliders enabled, but the terrain does. But turning off colliders on the terrain did not help. Oh, it uh, has appeared again. It seems like maybe when we cross a particular line, like if we're north of that line, it all appears. But if we're south of that line, it disappears. Let me try and test that theory a bit. Let's say we just fly across the north side of the city. Oh, um, I wonder... Well, we can get the in-cockpit view. Oh, it's a little bit fuzzy though. Yeah, it's very blurry. Forget that. So, okay, we'll cross this side. Uh, I think I overdid the grass textures because it's there's too much. It can't anti alias that. There's all sorts of flashiness from the grass textures. So, I should probably just make those flat green. So, it seems like if I pass like a certain point, it'll all disappear. Okay, maybe it's where the group is? Maybe where the group center is is the problem. I think that's what it is. I think it's all just too far away from the group center, which is closer to the space center, right? I mean, the main point of having all this Tampico stuff was the space center, which is further north. And I think... I think we have everything just too far apart, perhaps. So I think the city is working, is the theory. <laughs> and so I'll link it in the video description and you guys can tell me if uh, how you feel about it and how it looks in your versions of things. And part of the aliasing that we get might be because of my um, post-processing mod. I'm still using KS3P, so maybe it'll look better without that, or I'm not sure. Uh, somebody uh, talked about the terrain going very dark or a different color than the rest of the terrain. Uh, I think one possibility is that it reacts differently to clouds. Right now we have a very clear sky here. But I have had it where clouds made it really, really dark. So maybe check whether you have clouds. I don't know. Uh, of course, it shouldn't react badly to clouds, but uh, that's a mystery I don't know how to deal with yet. I've tried to keep it all very simple. All the buildings are, you know, cubes, mostly cubes, right? That's all very simple. Nothing flashy about the city. I do remember uh, the there was a Kerbin City mod for Kerbal Constructs before, and Kerbin Side and all that stuff, and so there's plenty of this sort of thing around, but I think this particular implementation is worth noting and experimenting with. This is unabashedly primarily for airplane peoples. Um, Incidentally, I didn't enable colliders on it, but the uh, big buildings do have colliders. Well, still coming in fast after trying to bleed off the speed. But at least it's a long runway. Okay, so with that update on the development of cities for Kerbal Space Program, and I would like to do bridges and other things too uh, for us plane enthusiasts, mainly. You can still see the city back there. That's nice. I like that we can see the skyline and everything. 
Uh, but for now, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.